Now we discuss uh, the education policies during uh, the General Musharraf's tenure, which, which started in 1999 and continued till 2008. Uh, there was no major policy reforms uh, oriented, uh, but uh, there were a focus was a little bit changed. Uh, there was more support for the private sector. Uh, there was openness toward donors, uh, and there was an attempt. Uh, to have less extremist uh, education in uh, schools and madrasas. Uh, Pakistan participated in uh, EFA, which is uh, Education for All Conference uh, in Dakar, Senegal in 2000, uh, and signed the declaration of UP, which is Universal Primary Education. Uh, um, it promised that by 2015, universal primary education will be achieved. Uh, EFA is, of course, uh, a UNESCO uh, program, uh, and this promise of having universal uh, primary education uh, was signed uh, uh, for the second time in 2000 because we, uh, Pakistan signed this the same uh, document or the same uh, promised uh, the same idea that they will achieve in 1990 when they thought that they can achieve the university primary universal primary education by 2000. Uh, so, um, the five uh, or the six uh, focus of um, uh, the EFA program are uh, to expand early childhood care and education, uh, to provide free compulsory primary education to all, to promote learning and life skills, uh, to increase adult literacy by 50%, to achieve gender parity by 2005 and gender equality by 2015 and to improve the quality of education. After 9-11, uh, there was large influx of donors. Donors' uh, objective in that order was to lessen the number, to provide more money to public schools uh, so that there will less number of students going to madrasas, uh, to lessen conservative, religious, violent outlook, uh, to increase employability, uh, and to lessen poverty. So these were the reasons why donors came and funded uh, Pakistani education plans. Um, General Musharraf government uh, supported the donors. Uh, millions of dollars were spent in Punjab, KP and other provinces. Uh, all the major donors were involved like World Bank, Asian Development Bank, USAID, uh, DFID, uh, uh, which is the British uh, uh, Department for International Development. All these uh, uh, donors uh, supported different schemes in different provinces to improve the education sector. Uh, there was more role of information technology in delivering and monitoring and evaluation. Uh, there was focus on uh, more focus on infrastructure and qu quantity. Uh, policies were aligned with the 2001 devolution or decentralization scheme. It was hoped that uh, because district Nazims were closer to the people, uh, they will know more about the educational needs of the people and so will, they will deliver better uh, and they will monitor better and there will be uh, improvement in results. Uh, however, the scheme flopped because uh, district Nazims were chosen by Musharraf and his generals uh, rather than by the local people uh, and so uh, there was the large influx of money did improve things, uh, but of course there were no exceptional achievements. So the gradual uh, improvement curve, which had started in 1947, it went on uh, without much spike. Thank you.